In addition to creating shapes manually using our shape drawing tools, you can also create shapes using predefined boundaries from our GeoPoint Shape Library. The GeoPoint Shape Library offers an extensive list of predefined boundaries from states and countries to postal codes and time zone bands. There's two ways to access the GeoPoint Shape Library. You can access it by clicking the globe icon among the shape drawing tools on the map or you can access it by clicking the plus sign and then clicking GeoPoint Shape Library. This will launch the GeoPoint Shape Library editing tool. Now you'll notice there's four tabs here. There's three main ways to select shapes on the map. The map select option, hierarchy, or from text. The final tab is for other options that we'll look at later. Let's start with the map select option, which lets us visually select the shapes that we want to use for creating a larger shape. We'll start by selecting a shape type from this dropdown. And this is going to include any of the boundaries that are available for the visible area of the map. Let's create some shapes out of US states. And we're going to create uh, territories for using the assignment plans feature. And in my company, they're based on regions of the United States. So we can click to toggle the states that are included in this particular shape. And this uses the click toggle selection type. Alternatively, we can use the lasso add to draw a circle around those we want to include. Using this lasso remove tool, we can remove shapes using the same method. With the hierarchy method, you can select from a hierarchical list of available boundaries. In this case, I want to select California counties. So I'm going to click the caret next to country so I can find the United States, then state, and then I'll click the caret next to California to expand the list of available California boundaries. I see county right there. If I select that, it'll select all California counties. Alternatively, I can select the, count, the caret next to county and toggle on or off specific counties. I can still use the map select option to edit what I've selected. In this case, I'm going to use the lasso remove to remove some of the counties that I've added. Now let's take a look at the from text method for adding shapes. This is useful if you have a list of zip code values that you want to use for your shape. So I've just pasted a list of zip codes. I'll click Add. And you can see it's automatically selected them on the map. Now the shape is ready to save. When you are ready to save your shape and you've selected the boundaries you want to include, just create a name, a description if you'd like. You can choose a different folder to save it in if you have that access. And go ahead and click the Options tab to make any other further changes. In this case, I'd like to change the color of my shape. And I can choose whether or not I want the subshapes to be merged. In this case, I'll keep them merged, and that will remove all the different boundaries within it. I'll click Save. And there's my shape. And I can access it anytime from the folder where I saved it, I can edit the shape and make additional changes if I'd like. You can use the GeoPoint Shape Library to create territories that can be assigned to specific users using GeoPoint assignment plans. You can also use it to search within certain shape boundaries and for many other use cases. If you want to learn more about the GeoPoint Shape Library and other uses for shapes inside GeoPoint, check out our help site.